Welcome to the heart of a Viking. This channel offers elementary art lessons taught by Mrs. Minto from the Cape and Lopen School District in Delaware. I look forward to virtually creating with you. There are new lessons posted weekly. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss a single one. So go grab your art supplies and your thinking caps and let's begin. So first grade artists, what do you know about symmetry? Hmm, let's think about that for a second. Symmetry kind of sounds like the word cinnamon and tree put together, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about symmetry. Symmetry can be found in art, in math, in nature, lots of places. Symmetry can also be found on you. That's right. So something that is that has symmetry or is symmetrical is an object that's the same on both sides. So if you think about your face, you have an eye on the right side and an eye on the left side. That's symmetry. You have an ear on the one side and an ear on the other side. That's symmetry. Now let's think about maybe butterfly wings. If a butterfly wing has a blue spot on the right wing, it has a blue spot in the same spot on the left wing. So symmetry can be found all over the place. So today we're going to be using symmetry in our work of art. All right, so what you need is a piece of paper, white paper, and your pencil to get started. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to do is put your paper sideways in front of you and then fold the bottom to the top, just like this. Make sure you fold it nice and flat. We're gonna be folding it a couple of times today. Okay, now open it back up and keep it like this so the fold is going left to right in front of you. And now on the line, on the top of the line I should say, we're going to write our last name. So my last name only has a few letters in it. So I can write my letters pretty wide. But if you have a longer last name, you'll need to make sure you write your letters a little bit skinnier. But I still want you to make them tall. So if you look about how big I'm writing my letters here, this is how I want you to write yours. Nice and tall so that the capital letters and the tall letters touch the top edge of your paper and the lowercase letters travel about halfway up. And if you're doing this at home, you can always have a grown-up check it for you. In addition to that, you want to make sure you press kind of hard. So I was already pressing kind of hard, so I'm not going to retrace mine, but if you're worried that you didn't press hard enough, you can go ahead and trace them a second time before you fold your paper, which is the next step. Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and fold the bottom back up to the top so you're covering up where you wrote your name. Grab a ruler or something flat like this and put your finger close to the bottom and you're going to rub. And really what you're doing is you're kind of like scratching at the surface of the paper and you're rubbing wherever your letters are. I can kind of see my uh, writing through my paper so I know where to rub. You probably will be able to see it too. My left hand is also doing an important job. It's holding my paper flat so it doesn't get all wrinkled up whenever I do this. And I'm rubbing, rubbing, rubbing where every single letter is. And what I'm trying to do is create symmetry. I want to create the same letters on the opposite side. Can you see them? They're kind of light, but they're there. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and retrace mine so that my uh, left side letters are the same darkness as my right side letters. Now, if yours did not transfer like mine did, go ahead and close it and rub it a second time before you do this tracing step. Okay, so now go ahead and put it vertical in front of you. So your name's on the right and the left and it's perfectly symmetrical. That looks awesome. Okay, so now the hard part. You need to think about your family. So not about yourself, but about your family. And what I want you to do is pick one person to think about first. So I'm gonna think about my mom first. And when I'm thinking about her, I wanna think about one thing that she really likes. Some kind of an object or a food or just something that she likes a whole lot. So when I think about my mom, I know that she loves the flower called a daisy. It's a white flower with a little yellow center. So I'm going to find one of my letters that I think I can make into a daisy. 
Let's see, I think I'll pick the eye. So the straight part of the eye is going to be the stem, and then the top of the eye will be the flower. That worked out perfect for my daisy. Oh man, Mrs. Minto forgot to hit record. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So you'll see that I already have a couple of other spaces filled in. Let me explain what they are. So where my eyes were, I turned them into two symmetrical flowers, perfect. And then I made the ends into a garden because when I think of my dad, my dad always grew a very big vegetable garden. So I definitely made him a garden and I put some little plants growing up in it. At the bottom, I turned my O's into two volleyballs. And the reason I chose volleyballs is because my daughter plays volleyball. So when I was thinking about her, I thought about volleyball. Okay, so now you can watch me draw the next two. Okay, so I think I'm going to be using the T next, and I'm going to turn the T into a camera because my husband is a photographer. So I'm an art teacher and he is a photographer. So Mr. Minto is gonna get a camera here on my project. So I'm turning my T into a camera. Now that tall part of the T is still sticking out to the side, and I think I'll use that tall part of the T to make it into the strap for the camera. And you'll notice how I'm working symmetrical. So I'm making the same object on both sides and I'm trying my best to draw it the same way. You could also do the drawing and rubbing technique. You could draw it on the one side, close and rub. That would work too if you liked to do that. So either way would work perfectly for this. Okay, so now up to the M. So for the M, I'm going to think about a furry member of my family. Her name is Luna and she's my dog. So I'm gonna think about Luna and up here at the top, I think I'm gonna turn this into one of her squeaky toys. 